So our grandmother was Clara Holbrook, had married our grandfather, Dewey Northrup. He was born in Secret Valley. My grandmother, I believe, was born in Nixon or the Lovelock area. Her, her brother was Joe Morgan and Clara Holbrook were brother and sister. Uh, the grandmother, their, their mother, this was her ranch, and I was looking for documents because I do have her name. And she gave, there's two ranches. One is at the pyramid, end of Pyramid Lake up on side the hill, and this ranch. So my grandmother, the great grandmother gave this ranch to Clara Holbrook Northup. And at that time, there was nothing here. It was a kind of a watering hole from people, what I was told, that traveled between Nixon to Gerlock. So this water was everybody's stopover. There used to be a road on this other side. You probably see the old road and the wagon, wagon road came to this place. Which is different than 447. It's not like... It's not that road there, it's, it's a, in addition to that. Yeah, this lake water, it was Winnemucca. Winnemucca, that was a lake. Our mother used to swim in that lake. There was a year ago. And our grand, grandfather was from Secret Valley. He was later an old member of Pyramid Lake. Here. So my grandfather worked on different ranches that had acquired uh, cattle. And at that time, they started building this fence. And you'll see it, there's areas where they're clearing the, the, the acreage with rocks. And you'll see rock fences way down at the bottom. You'll see where they had uh, gathered the rocks. So you can look through the rock fence down along that area. That was rocks. And we should be doing some repairs on that, right? Yes, yeah, that, that's what that's in the plan. So we lived being that I'm a member, my father was from Fort Bidwell. So my mom, for us, four. And we had two older sisters. They were from a previous marriage from my mother. And they were half Navajo, half Paiute, and the landowner was Beverly Peshlakai Bruzanovich with Randy. They were co-owners once my mother died. But prior to that, she was up here and she had they had to put a trailer up here for my mother to live in. Prior to that, the whole homestead was at the small canyon head. They had to go home and you'd have to go up. You can't see it from here. Right. And they had built a house. It burned down. Was that one story? Yes. It was one story. It was just a basic kitchen and a living room and a pantry type. And everybody lived there. In our Indian ways, we are a commune. They all help each other. Aunts, uncles, cousins. We all lived together as a family. Each family. Like the hippie type yeah. environment. That burned down, they moved the homestead here. And at that time, my grandfather had, I don't know who had helped build that house. It was a small house, probably the size of the, what, what, 10 by 20, 10 by 15? Small house, 10 by 20, yeah. It wasn't very huge, but he lived in there. Had a wood stove. All these years that they lived up here, they used the creek water thing. Water. But we could remember our grandfather praying with water, up there talking in Paiute, blessing himself, weeding and burning sage, but damn, we had sagebrush every day cooking in. <laughs> so our house was smelling like sagebrush. <laughs> but, but getting back to how our parents raised us, they always encouraged us to get out here, go out, and at that time, in the 50s, 40s, 50s, they started uh, having relocation, and I went to trade school in Chicago, and became a baker and a cake decorator. So I did that for 33, 33 years or so, and my husband, I met him in Chicago when I was going to boarding school. My sister, in the meantime, drifted here and there, but we all came home to roost. 
But getting back to this ranch, that's why these plants, I think, is so important. Um, we go to funerals, we eat that, what's it called? Uh, hui pu, they call it. Uh, they serve it at funerals, and you could go out and pick it. Our health is a top notch. Uh -huh. uh, cutting down all of the sage brushes, <clears throat> reverting the water to where it's a safety issue. That's my thing. Um, building a fence, if we're going to start build, planting um, orchard. You got to protect it from a, the grazing animals. Well, grazing animals, wild horses, whatever comes out here. Uh, building a fence and we have to really look at how the water's going to flow. That's my, how I look at things. All of this has a meaning uh, when you raise children. You're supposed to finish and play you finish you. You're supposed to teach, teach, teach. teach. A lot of our, and I'm not saying any color, any person, they don't know those teachings. And being a native woman, I am honored that I was taught that. At the time in my life, when I was young, it was unimportant to me. Now that I'm an elderly woman, it means the world to me. And I am so thankful my parents and my grandparents taught us. That's the best part. You know, they're in my heart because they're the ones. They, they are so happy we're here. They can use, they're probably just, just spirits around us. I'm so happy to, to see us up here doing something. That's what I'm happy about. Yeah. You know? People don't, we take take things for granted. When we're young, but when we get older, our age, it comes back. Do you think of your mom or your dad, for instance? They used to probably look at you and smile as they see a lot of them, you in them. And the things you did because you were taught from them, <laughs> you probably laugh at you. We see that with our daughters. One's a jokester, the one free spirit. Jokes. It's just like him. Yeah, it's comical. Just like you said, you're like your mom. It's an honor because that's what she taught you, but you didn't know that. Time. Mm -hmm. Same thing with you. You you can like mama. You cook like mama. Everything. I give like mama. You give like mama. I look like mama. Yeah. <laughs> so all of us are from our generation prior on the parents. Because that's what our grandfather told and built fence and all of this. And we came up here. Uh, that's cool. Mom, had, duck pond? Mom had chickens up here. <laughs> Mom had ducks up here. She had turkeys up here. Remember that one goat Mom got from girl at Joe? Uh, what was it? What was that old man thing? That Jackie? Old, Jackie Joe? Jackie Joe. And it's Chickens walking with no feathers on their butt. <laughs> and they all poop on the eggs, remember? <laughs>